the Rebel Alliance, a military movement that would ultimately cause the Empire's downfall. But where did it all begin? The Rebel Alliance technically began before the Galactic Empire came to be. In the final year of the Clone Wars, when the Republic had gained the upper hand, and many believed that the Separatists could not continue a war of attrition, with their droid-based armies being destroyed by the Republic Army quicker than they could be created. Supreme Chancellor Palpatine was highly revered, and was largely given credit for the Republic's success. Palpatine had managed to sway the war in no small part, down to the emergency powers he had been granted by the scared politicians of the Republic, who feared a Separatist victory throughout the war. With these powers, the Chancellor was able to rule largely without consulting the Senate. This resulted in an excessive expansion of the Republic's military. Systems that had celebrated the long-standing democratic government came to be ruled by military governors, or MOFs. It was for this reason that a small group of senators, including Bail Organa, Padme Amidala and Mon Mothma, began creating a petition that would prevent Palpatine from breaching any aspects of the Republic and removing the military governors from what were, by all rights, free systems. This petition became known as the Delegation of 2000, as it featured around 2000 signatures from Republic Senators. This was a significant accomplishment, as at the time majority of the Republic was behind the Clone Wars, as the winning side usually is. As we know, Palpatine's ruse would eventually lead him to establishing the New Order. This is the process in which the Republic became the Empire. This also allowed Palpatine to be the unchallenged leader, where the politicians and senators would merely be able to advise their Emperor. Palpatine, in his wisdom, knew that he must confront the delegation who attempted to thwart his plan. Despite how it no longer held any sway, many members who signed the petition were trialled and executed or exiled for treason including Mon Mothma. Over time, the Empire became a true authoritarian regime, where mere words of disloyalty could result in capture and death. Most politicians had chosen to stand idly by out of fear. This was reinforced when the Empire raised the Wookiee home planet of Kashyyyk. Many others remained loyal to his new order and believed that the stability was worth giving up their liberties. Others remained against the Empire, such as Bail Organa, who chose to bide his time, knowing that to launch a rebellion in such a tense time would lead to nothing more than its destruction. However, some did choose to fight this Empire. During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change, a change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Queen Aplana of Naboo, Palpatine's homeworld, had heeded the word of her old friend and mentor, Padme Amidala before her death. Padme had warned the Queen to feign support for the Empire, but secretly work for liberty. However, in her attempt, the Queen had grown overzealous. She continued to celebrate the memory of the Republic over the founding of the Empire. She refused some of the Empire's strict regulations on taxing and trade. She even contemplated military action when she began bolstering the Naboo Guard and taking in Jedi refugees. This was a step too far. When Imperial Intelligence reported this to the Emperor, he knew he could not stand for such an insurrection on his own homeworld. For this reason, he sent a detachment of the infamous 501st, accompanied by Darth Vader, to quell the rebellion, which they did. Feed was turned into a war zone, the Jedi were wiped out along with the Naboo garrison, and the Queen was assassinated, being labelled a traitor to the Empire. This proved as a warning to the rest of the galaxy, 
as the revered 501st Legion gained the nickname Vader's Fist. However, the Queen proved to be a martyr for her cause. As soon as the Empire had grown comfortable with their vast span of power, rebellions turned from a nuisance to an actual threat. <laughs>